update. I'm going to start doing these every Sunday to make them, you know. I generally like to make the, the updates when there's something in the marketplace, like right now uh, when we have Tesla right here, by the way, um, creating a pattern for me. And it looks to be pretty solid. So let's go over and draw that out for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. And let's draw the next one over here. Mm -hmm. And now, wherever it wants to go, it can go all the way up to there. Uh, I want to be a short of this. And uh, I'm going to probably put it, not too much, but a decent amount of money to sell it and so forth. Uh, probably 10% over my current neutral holdings, which is I'm one to one short. And I'm going to be targeting under this uh, 935 number. Let's see what the low is right there. 38.99. So under, let's say, 940 bucks. Uh, this is a very good pattern that it's creating right here. It's extremely overvalued, but that's what Tesla does. It likes to be overvalued. Now, a lot of this, in my opinion, is coming directly from the Fed and, and the government. You know, Trump, they want to push the market up, up, up. They provided all this liquidity. ETFs just booming away and so forth, and they're going to try to push the market as high as they possibly can. Um, and that's one of the reasons you're not seeing. But if you notice in the market, the down moves have been very fast and to the downside exaggerated, right? Uh, the reason why that is, is because those are the real market participants, the smart money selling the market. Uh, the dumb money, which is Trump and the Fed, and the retail market and so forth are the ones that are buying the market. And these guys are going to get hurt. It's, you know, it's not looking good for them. And uh, we can generally see that in uh, things like gold. If we get it, the gold charts and whatnot, it's stabilized in the high end of the range. And that's because the smart money is slowly moving into here. And they're hedging their bets. They're not going to take any chances. They don't want to... They think that inflation is coming, and that's why you see this movement of the high side of, on gold. And if we get to a weekly, it's an even better view. Um, we're towards the highs. This this tells you. Uh, you would expect that uh, gold to uh, be the inverse or not have a relationship with the stock market. When it does, that's not a good sign. Uh, but... Uh, and silver we have here. Silver, if it was related to gold, uh, it would be way up in the 20 to 30 range and so forth. But it's holding back. This is my favorite. This is where I've allocated most of my my money and so forth um, because silver has some really bright upside. Uh, outside of crypto, this is one that I really believe in. It's going to have a strong move. And uh, so we're going to watch that for the future. Uh, and then... Uh, we have CVX, which is traded down, down, down. Now it just needs to get down to the target level down here, which I'll close out the shorts that I have on there. Uh, so, you know. Um, now, getting back to Bitcoin, we've seen what happened with Bitcoin. I had a short-term trade, and it, it worked out. Unfortunately, for some reason, the platform did not did not execute the trades for many of the users. And I would like to have an understanding as to why that, that occurred. It made no sense. Uh, the trade had uh, over five minutes of time from where I entered that it you could have gotten filled at 8,900. There was no excuse whatsoever. Um, so I would like an understanding from Zignally to explain why that occurred. Um, and you know, waiting, going to wait for that answer. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate because that was perfect. And it went right above the 9,210 level. Yep, great trade. And we didn't execute on it. Oh, why? Uh, makes no sense. Um, 
but anyway, I'm not going to hark on that. Uh, I'm going to be looking for prices to get under this low here, this 8,800 level here from here at some point. I do not believe we're going to go much higher. We could get a big move up here, and if that's the case, I would be selling more. And again, um, I have a plan for that. So if we get all the way up to the 9700 range, I'm going to be looking for us to get back to the 9200 range. That would be one bracket. From here, we could collapse and get under here and start dropping down and see what develops under this level here. First, we'd have to get under this 8800. That's the most likely scenario to occur, is that we get a drop under the 8800. Um, and that's what I'm going to be waiting for. I, who knows what news or BS is going to come out about Bitcoin or whatnot. But um, that's, that's basically it. So right now, um, not much I'm doing. Ethereum has plenty of downside to the 190 range. Uh, I believe you know they're going to be going all the way back down here. So we're going to be looking for them to get all the way back down there. Uh, you see that here, they kind of failed, and you know it's just not pretty for them. They have nothing. I would not be a buyer of this until we hit this level and under. And as far as Bitcoin goes, I, I'm going to wait for the 8,000 range. There's nothing to do. I want, I want this number down here, um, ultimately. And then from there, the picture changes. There are big macro effects after we hit this level down here come into play. So I have to switch my whole psychology and my whole method of trading, um, percentages and uh, w which way that I'm pointing, is going to be mostly long once it gets under this level um, and I'll give you the, the macro reasons later on and I'll go through the chart so you guys can see um, kind of what I'm looking at and the reasons why I'll talk to you a little bit about the statistics of what's likely to occur and we'll go from there um, but right now you know I, I like where silver is this is uh, a spring-loaded is the only way I'll put it. I, I went over the volume dynamics and everything right here. This level from the 1750s, this is spring loaded. This can go over and take out this. Uh, gold would probably lag it in a percentage basis. Uh, and it's already starting to show that with uh, gold being down a little bit into flat and this being up higher uh, in the overall numbers. Uh, so you're going to likely see that occur. If you get a breakout on solar, do not be surprised. Uh, it is like I said, spring loaded. And uh, we'll see what happens. See, overall tendency for the stock market again is to the downside. I do not see, I mean, it could possibly, you know, you don't really know with Trump. I mean, God, I don't know how much, how much ammo he has uh, with the Fed and how good at communicating it. He doesn't seem to communicate very well with, on most things. So if he's able to communicate a, a, a push for here, um, in the next month or so, I, I would be surprised. The overall tendency should be to the downside. And um, uh, I, I would be looking for numbers that go all the way down to the lower 2000 range. So uh, we'll see. Uh, the volume dynamics here are not fantastic. They're kind of lackluster. But the sellers have the smart money. Is <laughs> it's, it's, I, have, I have nothing to say. I'm kind of disappointed in our government, and uh, they're uh, using politics and so forth to get reelected and, and fucking up our markets, and that's what they're doing in reality. Uh, so I'm not happy about that because that, that causes problems. I mean, it causes um, chaos where there doesn't need to be. You, you want stabilized markets. What they're doing is kind of good for me, but bad for uh, our society if you could put it that way. Uh, so, you know. But anyway, we'll see. My favorite right now and what I'm really focused on is Tesla. I want to see how far up this goes. Uh, this has such enthusiasm. I have no doubt that it can hit this uh, 1115 and, and uh, mid 1100 number with a fair amount of ease. Um, we'll see. Uh, if it does, I'm going to be a seller up here. 
and uh, it's going to be interesting. Then I would be what's called a naked, I would be short a naked amount, maybe not a lot, but a decent amount, and I would be targeting right under here uh, with what I see right here. So that's what I'm kind of looking at, and that's basically it. I hope you guys have a great week. And again, I'm probably going to focus doing these videos on the, the weekend uh, just to make them you know, in sync so they're on a regular basis uh, on Sundays. But, you know, the market's, eh, well, whatever, within a few days. But uh, anyway, um, I'll see you guys later in the week, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.